So you've got your Valve Steam Deck and you want to be able to use Xbox Game Pass to be able to stream your titles to your Steam Deck effortlessly. Is it really easy to set up? Is it really something that, you know, takes a lot of technical know-how to do? Actually, it's pretty simple. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to do it in a few easy steps. If you follow along, you can do it as well. Let's go ahead and get into it. This wasn't written with your comfort in mind. Nah. Made my decision, wasn't tough to decide. Nah. Me and my boys, we get it done every time. <laughs> Gotta earn it, you can't just jump in the line. You'll get rushed to the side. I, I top my division, I've been building since I started. In the parking lot, I parked it. I came in while picking targets. My career cannot be tarnished. I'm a champion regardless. Celebrate, but this is a different kind of lucha party. We are not alike. All right, before we get into this video, if you like the videos I do for like the Steam Deck, tech, game reviews, and more, then make sure you like this video, sub to the channel if you haven't already, that way you stay up to date on all the latest and greatest content they're working on here on this channel. And if you want to support the work we do, we do have Patreon as well as channel memberships here on YouTube, and we also have merch on Teespring and TeePublic as well. If you want to join the conversation and talk about the Steam Deck and many other things, we do have a Discord as well as a gilded group links to those are in the description below so with all that out of the way let's talk about how you get game pass on your steam deck so first thing i want to do i'm going to switch over to this other scene and i've got my steam deck up here as you can see i've basically you can see the recent games i've been playing you can see you know this is general home screen right here. So what you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna hit your Steam menu here, go to power, and you're gonna wanna switch to desktop. Now, once it switches to desktop, that's where we can do all the technical know-how. So just, you know, be ready for that. All right, so now that we're at the desktop, there's something you're gonna wanna do. So you're gonna wanna go to the discovery center, and once that pops up, you're gonna wanna go to applications, and then from applications, you're gonna go and go to internet, and then at internet, go to web browsers, as you can see here. Then you're gonna wanna go down and make sure you install Microsoft Edge. Very important that you do that. So once you install that, you can go ahead and either minimize or close this out, whatever you wanna do. And you're going to want to click here, which is similar to your start menu. You're going to want to go to Internet. And you see you've got Microsoft Edge. And then you're going to want to add this to Steam. Like so. And then once you click that, it's going to pop it up to Steam. Now, there's also a site you can go to as well. I'll pull that up in a second that way you can see you know, the exact tutorial, like, and, and I'll leave a link for that in the description as well. So what you're gonna wanna do, you can pull up any browser, I've got multiple here. So what I'll do in this case is, uh, I'll go ahead and pull up uh, Chrome. So as you can see here, there's an official guide from Microsoft themselves as to how to set up xCloud Gaming on your Steam Deck using Microsoft Edge. So uh, I'll leave links to this. It basically gives you a full run through of what all you need to do. So basically what we're gonna do is we're gonna be um, how to set up Microsoft Edge beta from scratch. So I'm gonna click here, right? And that'll give you the information. And like I said, I'll leave the link to this in the description below. So as you saw we did earlier, we added it to Steam like I showed you. So the next thing you're gonna wanna do is you're going to want to open Steam. So now that you got Steam open, you're gonna wanna go to add game. You're gonna want to add a non-Steam game. And then what you're gonna wanna do from here is scroll down till you find Microsoft Edge. So the next thing you're gonna wanna do is open up console. which is your terminal. And once you get that set, it'll pop up shortly. So this is what this is gonna look like. And then the easiest way is to make sure you've got this guide. So what you're gonna do is you're going to need to copy this right here. So you're gonna need to 
give it some administrative uh, capabilities. So you can just highlight all this, copy, minimize this. So you minimize that, paste it in there, press enter. And then once that done, just go ahead and close this out. Of edge is gonna pop up here. Now I can show you guys, uh, it'll be here. And if we go back to the guide, then what you're gonna to wanna to do is you're gonna to wanna to right click either here and go to properties, or you can just click the little cog here and go to properties. Now, once you're at the properties section here, go ahead and pull up that guide again. And what you're gonna to wanna to do, and this is gonna be after the at at u space at at, you're going to want to copy all of this right here. So select copy, and then we'll pull back up that other tab we had. So space, like so. And after you've done that, go ahead and close it. And basically, if you wanna change out anything, so I've got it right here. And link, I'll also include the link. So this is, if you wanna customize and get everything else going. So if you wanna have the custom banner, you can Let's go to properties again. You can click here, you know, go to home deck, go to downloads or wherever you saved it. And I have it up here. And then, you know, I've got a uh, capsule icon such. I'm just gonna click capsule. And as you see, it fills that in. I can close that. I can click here. So custom background, same thing. Go to home deck. I'm gonna go to downloads where I got that folder. Select all files, banner, and then boom. So I've got that all set up too. So at this point, you've basically done everything you need to get this set up to be able to use uh, Xbox Game Pass. Now, I just did this to show you guys what it looked like. What you can do at this point is close this out, and then you're just gonna go to return to gaming mode. And now that this is launching, we should be able to go right on into it. So what you're gonna wanna do is go to your library, as you say, I've got a whole custom setup here. I'm gonna do videos on Epic Installer and GOG as well. Okay, and like so, it'll load you in. And then you should just be able to just sign in and then be able to go from there. Once you've signed in, I'm already all set up and everything like that. And so you'll just be able to do, if you've got your controller, you can, or you know, your mouse and keyboard, whatever you wanna do, then you can just select whatever game you'd like to play. So if you wanna play Halo or Wolfenstein or anything like that, you can just select it. And then once you select it, it'll go through this whole process here, launching the game. And uh, it's still in beta. It's been in beta for a while, but it effectively works. And then we're here, and then we can just go ahead and log in, and I can either go ahead and play campaign, or I can play multiplayer. So I think if I hit campaign, go to continue, I should pick up where I left off, which I don't think I got very far when I was playing this last time, but, um, like so you can just you'll be able to dive in and get right back into the fray and then yeah uh latency is not that bad it's slight but then i'm also using a wired connection so there is that and this is also a very dark level <laughs> so if i want to go out of this i could literally and just turn on the flashlight and just start going through this area.
And there you have it. This is Xbox Game Pass working on your Steam Deck. So uh, if there's anything else you guys want to know as far as this, let me know in the comment section down below. Uh, if you have any troubles, uh, make sure you check out the Reddit thread uh, or the Reddit uh, just in general for Steam Deck. That's going to be the best place to get any information going forward if you want it to have assistance with like setting up various things on your Steam Deck. But uh, with all that being said, hope you guys enjoyed this video. And if you found anything informative from it, make sure you, you know, like the video, leave a comment. If you enjoyed it, make sure you sub to the channel, ding the notification bell. That way you stay up to date on all the latest and greatest content that comes from this channel. If you want to support the content we do, we do have channel memberships as well as Patreon. Links to everything is going to be down in the description below. So with all that being said, i catch you guys in the next one. Hope you have a blessed and aloha rest of your day, and I'll see you on the next one. Peace. Mahalo for making it to the end of the video. If you found anything of importance or substance that you gained from watching this, make sure you leave a comment down in the comment section below. If you haven't already, make sure you sub to the channel and ding the notification bell. That way you stay up to date on all the content that you get from my channel, from podcasts, streams, reviews, impressions, reactions, and so much more. If you want to support what we do, we do have channel memberships. We've got Patreon. We've got Subscribestar as well as as coffee which i would love to be drinking some coffee right now which i am mm, that's some good coffee but anyway we got all of that and we also have merch on teespring and tea public so make sure you go check that out and all that being said i just hope to see you in the next video that i put out so hey see you around